Hi lovelies. So it's been Christmas and I treated myself to something lovely. You're going to love this. Yep. Ta-da! Hope you can see it. Yep. So in case you don't know what this is and you, it's the first time in my channel, these are the beautiful and lovely Micron pens for drawing. Just if you love drawing or you want to start, this is the best. And if you love drawing, you know this is one of the best pens to draw with. So I usually have some already. I like getting brown and black and then just having different shades. Yeah, just I learned that from other, you know, people who like to do art. You can check out one of my videos where I'm, I have drawn and watercolored, I think, a charming little shop. And I'm using the brown. So here, these are not different colors, but they come in different thicknesses. I didn't even know you could do that. So I can't wait to try it. So come with me. I hope you can see my drawing. So what I've done is I've started go in with the pencil and then I'm going to go in with the pen later. So I've started without you already. for a short break in hobby craft to check if they have sales and see if I can get some paint yes so it looks like they don't have some, uh, a lot of sales but they do have some sales on the PBO studio acrylics some nice colors so some of my colors are still full so I don't need those so I'm just looking for unique colors as you can see they've got half price and all the PBO acrylic. I'm really loving this one. Yeah. It's a gorgeous turquoise color. Thing is, this one is like a warm diner. I think one is irid yeah, I think they're both iridescent. I don't know. Yeah, one is slightly darker. As you can see. I'm thinking I get it. It's got this beautiful turquoise shade. Hope you can see it. And I got some more clay. The white clay. So I'm collecting. Every time I see a sale, I just get some more. 
they've got a sale as well with a graduate three for two yeah so if you want to get some paint you can come out here we've got some amazing stuff i was like just looking for any other pens they've got like coloring pens uh, yeah like this one's oh my god people came in and just took them they've got the pro marker pens as well i don't know this is like number six you know there's different colors so i want to draw some i want to paint the little flowers the thing is the paper is already white so we have the option of using either the white from the watercolors so as you know i love this brand so i discovered it recently i think you've seen it in my tiktok i think and some you know some reviews on my youtube as well so they have they have such a variety as you can see i think they are literally 36 36 shades can you imagine the law isn't it beautiful so even the whites i really don't i really don't favor rate the brand when they have some like such a minimum number of whites <clears throat> because we use whites to mix with so many things especially if you like pastel colors so the white is used so often so it could be nice to see a brand that adds at least one or two extra whites because you have all these colors to mix that one small white with all this these are 36 colors considering that we already have 36 colors majority of the time you probably have the shade that you already want if you have anything above 36 24 is not too bad <clears throat> but yes if i wanted to use pink or something coral this would be so much easier to add some white in it and just you don't have to use too much white as compared to if i was using that to try and create the pink oh, we don't have pink so it's a matter of going for the scarlet red mixing with white i'm going for the rose mix with white the coral <laughs> probably you'll end up with sort of like a pastel peachy color so i'm going to experiment with that and the red and the rose and just see which one will give us a beautiful pink color so we'll start with the rose then we have the coral beautiful vibrant colors I'm not going to lie mm. so i should have one big tube like you know like the graduate uh, acrylic they have the big one yes yeah, so i should have one for the watercolors white just basically just have one big white one that never runs out takes very long to run out apricot color which is a cream color so you don't need to go out there and just start figuring out how should i mix this color it's a beautiful cream you just add a bit of white to make it even more cream if you leave it beige it will be like that probably add other colors to make it a darker beige but yeah so you see you will use less and less of the whites this one is one of my best brands but i'm going to bring some more youtube videos for different brands as we experiment so let's go in with the white and i love these new brushes as well i got them from amazon and if you would like the link for a discount look into my youtube channel you get the link there so let's start with the red let's see what it will give us let's go with the peachy pink and just experiment with that okay so i've mixed the colors so that's the coral with the white and i'm going in with the pink sofa 
try out the metallics on the gold mirror and the gold lamps you just see what happens yeah so it's either this or we use the pens when I say pen I mean the Posca pens so as you can see we can either use the pens which will take forever or we can use the watercolor metallic watercolors so let's try it absolutely much better than the pen i think what do you think as you can see the concentration of the metallic is much so much more deeper with the watercolors so i'm going in with the metallic rims i mean the gold rims for the table this is the table in case you were wondering okay so i have tried to use the pen to be honest the pen touch i was trying to show where the reflection of the light is on the glass jar or the glass vase and i just it's just not working it's just really watery and it's just blending in so i thought it was going to be quite nice for you know using when you're draw when you painting on glass and want to make it look realistic so it was just not working so i'm going to go in i'm just going to go in now uh, what i did actually before i finish is um i just used the white uh, paint the watercolor in white and now i'm going in with my micron pen and i think this is brown but actually yeah I can see that. So let's use the new one. Okay, that. okay. so we're going to use the thinnest, which is number zero zero guys so this is it it's all finished
so this is all just pencil watercolor and ink and by ink i mean uh, just the micron pens that i got so just watch the whole video if you just started watching from here uh, you won't be disappointed if you've got any ideas to share with me let me know so it's just a beautiful picture of this a cute living room and i just wanted to experiment with the new micron set that i got i can't wait to experiment more with the pens with the different thicknesses uh, if that's what it's called so beautiful and i'm using my favorite magic fly watercolors together with the metallic watercolors as well so if you haven't seen that watch my other videos if you want me to try out different other brands just let me know uh, in the comments below and let me know what you think of the painting just share with me because um, we are learning together just remember to subscribe to support my channel like comment and subscribe and share with family and friends remember i'm actually just uh, teaching myself how to paint and to draw so just join me in this journey and share with me your journey as well 